Hey y'all, it's the Thrifty Southerner. Straight out of bed this morning. It is Sunday morning. I wanted to jump on and do a pretty big Dollar Tree haul for y'all. This is from several different stores. 90% of it or more is Christmas stuff. Um, I was excited. They have some of the cutest Christmas stuff out, you guys, this year. And uh, so I thought you might want to see what I have found. And I meant to do this video yesterday, but we ended up working out on our property all day. So, after I did garage sales, which, by the way, sucked, but I did find one gem. And I'm going to hit some thrift stores this week and see what I can find. And if you hear that rustling, that is my cat wrestling around in the Dollar Tree bags. Okay, you guys, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, if you are not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Please don't forget, you guys, to hit the thumbs up. Uh, it really, really helps my videos and comments help. I love to talk to you guys because I feel like we're all friends here. And uh, so be sure to interact if you like my videos. All right, let's get started. So this is not a Christmas item. It's just a random item, but uh, one that I want to show you guys. So this is one of their new baskets. It's actually got a little basket weave pattern on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. And it's black and white, and then they also had black with white. So I will probably use this in my pantry for something. I don't know. Just wanted to pick one up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I don't have the Rona. It's uh, out really bad allergies, and we burned a bunch of papers last night and wood. We had a huge fire, and I tended to it, and I breathed it all in. Anyway, so if you hear me cough or sound snotty, that's what it is. Okay, so anyway, that, that's that. Oh, all right, kitty, get out of there. Get out of there. Next thing I found, I think I got two of these. I'm just pulling stuff out of bags. Was this candle wreath? Candle, yeah, mini wreath. Super cute. It's got the iced berries. I don't know if I'll use it as a candle wreath or if I'll use it as something else, but it would look really cute with a candle in it. Um, so I got two of those. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but again, when you find stuff you like at Dollar Tree that is like seasonal, buy it, because it will not be there when you go back to get more. Case in point, <laughs> these guys. We decided we're gonna have a small Christmas dinner here, and I bought a few of these to make pillows out of, and I only bought three, and uh, now I need more, and I can't find them. So I might have to put these on my bar and do some different ones on the main eating table. Um, oh, that being said, if you watched my last video, I told you guys I was gonna make a pillow, and I did. Here's my pillow. I think it turned out pretty well. So that's my $2 pillow, made with stuffing from uh, Goodwill and a Dollar Tree, literally a Dollar Tree mat hot glued. I'm not going to show you guys the back because it looks kind of rough. I hot glued it right here and I'm going to put a piece of ribbon. I have the ribbon here um, that I'm going to put here to kind of clean up the back a little bit. I'll show you quick. Let's see. I just need to pull a piece of ribbon right here. If I were to do it again, if you guys want to do it, I would cut through the center right here. And then I would stuff it, and then I would place a piece of ribbon and glue it to either side. That's how I would do it if I were going to do it again. And I may make another one. It depends on if I can find any more of these. Okay. Next week. Whoa! Hey, kitty, kitty, no, no. No, no, kitty. Okay. Nextly, I found my daughter really likes spirit. So... I'm sorry, you guys. It's not, it's not possible for me to stop her from doing this. So I hope it's not too annoying. She's a kitten. Um, she, she really loves Spirit Riding Free. And this is a little spirit bag. So I thought I would put one of her uh, gifts for Christmas in that. It says Palomino Bluffs. Super cute. Hey, kitty. You want to meet everybody? This is our new kitty, Opal. She is so sweet, but she does not really like to be picked up. Yeah, you tell him. I'm the sweetest kitty. Okay. 
Nextly, I got this berry garland. Again, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but it was the last one they had. <clears throat> so I thought I would get it. It's kind of pearlescent. I think they had different colors, but this was the only thing that they had when I was there. Sorry. <laughs> Here is the other mini wreath. Again, I got the same one. They had these with white flowers and slightly different greenery, but I liked these better. I think I got two of these, or maybe I just got one. They are little floral clips. Again, I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but I thought this one was really nice. And, I mean, you can just clip it onto anything and dress it up, you know? So... Cute. That hot glue's, I think we need to re, re hot glue that. Okay, also, <laughs> there's a dog on the patio and he's barking at something. So, this is just my life, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, nextly, got this tag. It is super cute. It's got Santa. It's super cute as is. It says Joy. Glitter, they really love glitter at the Dollar Tree. Just glitter, glitter, glitter. I'm gonna DIY this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on here. Possibly this. This is a gift bag that I thought was really, really cute. Um, and I think like I could get most of that scene out of it, although it's not quite long enough, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm going to make a DIY out of this with this Christmas truck. I may just cut it out and frame it. I don't know. And then I'll do, maybe do something with this. I also have one of the round Christmas ornament hangers from last year. So I may do that with the truck. I don't know. Let me know if y'all want to see the finished DIYs after I make them or not. I don't, I mean, I don't know if y'all are interested in that or not. But, Okay. Okay, he's inside now, so hopefully that is going to stop. Alrighty. In that vein of what I was saying I was going to do, I think this is too small for these. Yeah, these are all big. They're going to need large frames. But I got some of these gift boxes. These are super cute to do, like, framed art with. Uh, this one says, Farm Fresh, Christmas Trees, Fresh Cut. This one is really big. I'm not sure. I didn't realize how big this box was when I got it, so I don't know if I'll do anything this year with this one, but it says traditional candy canes, Claus Candy Shop, and then there's another one on the other side of the Farm Fresh Christmas trees. These would be cute as a pair, framed, reindeer aviation. So again, not sure what I'm going to do with those. Picked him up anyway. Hey, Baron. Hey, Bobby. Now, this wall hanger, I'm going to keep as is. It doesn't have any glitter on it. Look, there's nothing wrong with glitter. It's just not my thing. So, I prefer the stuff that doesn't have any glitter on it. I feel like it looks a little higher end. This is really nice. It doesn't have any glitter. It is um, like a, and I think it actually is metal, like galvanized. It's really cute. Let it snow, it says. Although it never snows here, but anyway. It's good sentiment. It's really cute. It's just on, you know, composite board. But I thought it was cute. Okay, I do watch some of those DIY, those YouTube DIYs. This is cross. Uh, I do watch some of the YouTube DIYs, and several people have made a Kirkland's, um, like a Kirkland's DIY dupe with using actually uh it's the little snowman dupe they've used the one of these and like a glass globe of some sort or a ball or anything you can paint white and then this little top hat ornament there's two different kinds I liked this one <clears throat> um I have not found a ball or anything I can make the snowman's face with and I'm not sure I'm gonna do that but this would be really cute on the tree, even if I don't do that. So, and if I do, the uh, frosted berries kind of match. 
from there to there. So we'll see if I end up finding something I can do the snowman face with. Or if I, if I even want to do that. I don't know. You want to sit by me, Bobby? Okay. These, I felt like, were a total score. I was so excited to get these because I feel sure that they went so quickly. They are. Look how big these are. This is Cross's face. What is that, buddy? What is that, buddy? They're huge. I don't know. Does it say how big? They are 14 inches. They are gnomes. What? My husband is Norwegian. He just got his DNA. He knew he was. Uh, his dad was full Norwegian, but he found out he's almost like 70% um, Nor. Well, he's like 50 something percent or 60 something percent Norwegian and then uh, Swedish, like 13% Swedish. So, anyway, we have a connection to these. These is this is a little. Uh, Nordic print and gnomes are very Norwegian. So anyway, I got three of these. You'll probably see them back here, but they are so cute. They have like beads at the bottom. I mean, a dollar, you guys, a dollar. What? What? That's crazy. They're pretty well made. They're felt. I mean, the little feet are just like cut out little felt feet, but I mean, they're really cute. <coughs> In that same vein, I got a couple of these. I think I got three. I thought I got three. I only see two right now, but they are just little balls of the same, like, kind of Nordic print. I think they even say, no, they don't, but uh, little Nordic sweater balls. I also got, well, I'll find it later, I guess. Okay, I do not care for Dollar Tree's microfiber towels. I think that they don't wipe anything up, and they're pretty awful. But they're very cute. So, I got two of these dashing through the snow with the little red truck. I probably will not actually use them. I will just hang them for decoration and then hang one in the middle that I'll actually use. So, they're super cute, but be warned, they are useless as an actual towel. You can't beat a dollar for cute decor. Okay, what else did I get? Okay, this is another thing that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know if I'm going to make a hanger for the door. I don't know, but I am kind of using this red buffalo check. And I actually got this before I got the pillow, the table mats, or any of that. So, this is a really nice bow. You cannot beat that for a dollar with this buffalo check. And it's pla it's plastic covered on the back, so you could put it outside, and I think it would fare fairly well. I think it would it would last. Um, I wouldn't put it, like, out, out in the elements, but, like, on your front door or under your porch would probably be just fine. They should It should hold up well because it's got that plastic backing. Another thing I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. Um, but they're little bottle brush trees. You cannot beat two bottle brush trees for a dollar. If you guys do crafting at all and you go to Michael's and try to buy a bottle brush tree, you are not going to get two for a dollar. That is for darn sure. And these are the little dusted ones. I may put them with this. My, uh, my husband's stepfather passed away, will be three years in February. And, uh, no, two, I'm sorry, two years in February. And he had a Christmas village, and he loved Christmas. It was his favorite holiday. So my daughter, when we were at Dollar Tree, said, Oh, we got to get one of these for Papa, and we'll put it up for Papa. So it actually lights up, which I did not realize. <clears throat> oh, no, wait. Do not use electric C7 or C9 bulbs, only intended for battery-operated LED tea lights. Okay, but I still didn't know that. It must open up. Let's check it out. So I told her she could pick one. How do you open it? Oh, I'm gonna break it. I don't understand. Um, what? Can you even see through it? I don't understand. It is hollow, but I don't know how you open it up. I'll have to 
I'll have to figure this out later. Maybe the bottom opens, but it doesn't look like it does. So anyway, 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 I don't know. I'm sorry. I'll figure that out later. But anyway, we bought this as an homage to Papa. And we may just stick, if I don't end up doing anything, I may just stick one or two of these beside it. You're really uh, leaning on me there, buddy. All right. I was excited about these. There was a third one that I saw. Um, Sarah Beth, I think is her name, from Chic on the Cheap, showed these. And there was another one that was the cutest. It was like holographic. But I got the other two, so I'm happy with that. <coughs> Excuse me. These say, this one says, eat, sleep, and be merry. And it is obviously a double walled cup with a sliding top. It does not say you can't put hot drinks in here. It only says hand wash only and not my microwave or dishwasher safe. So some of these they'll say cold, only put cold in. But that's awesome. This can have hot in it, I'm assuming, because it doesn't say not to. But very, very cute. I hope you guys can see it. And then I got a green one. Let it snow. And again, I was not able to find the holographic one. But that's okay. <coughs> I feel like this is going to be a long video because it's already 16 and a half minutes long. So, okay. My daughter picked this one out. This says, let it snow. This is their, uh, again, double-walled containers specifically for hot drinks super cute these lids though they are very tricky like when my daughter makes something for herself she's i have to put the top on for her. but this is their prints this year are just on it and then we have gnome for the holidays they really stepped it up this year okay these are not christmas related but I thought you might want to see them because they're a great deal. If you if you have kids or grandkids or nieces and nephews and you are looking for little stocking stuffers, these were there. They're Dare to Unbox the Bite. They're called Big Bites. And these are like, I think Hartley was telling me, my daughter, like 4 to $5 at Walmart. So they, they come in this little box. There's a hole here. And you stick your finger in there and the little animal bites you. But it's not, it doesn't bite hard. But it kind of clamps down on your finger. And then you can pull it out and it's a little animal. And then they usually have a little, I think they all have a little charm. Here's, you're going to see what they do. They all have a little charm that comes with them that you can put in their mouth and clamp down. And then it becomes like a little hanger. They're super cute. She took like three of them and I was like, no, I need to keep a couple so I can show them. But anyway. Great, great stocking stuffers, etc. <clears throat> I'm going to show you these. This one broke, and this is the second one I've had that broke. I think I can fix it. I think once it's painted. Um, I, I got these like a month ago, so I don't know that you can find these anymore. Um, the first one I had, that this broke. And then now this M is kind of like hanging on for dear life. But how cute is that? It says Mary <clears throat> with the deer antlers. I was just going to paint it. It's got a hanger on it, but I think. Oh, no. Okay. It won't stand. Wait, will it stand up on its own? It will not really stand up on its own. And then I got this piece. So let's see if that one will stand up. That one stands up. They'll both stand up. I just didn't have them on a uh, um, level space. So they'd be cute just as, you know, painted, whatever color you want, and just sets, you know, just to set, you know, as decor everywhere, somewhere, wherever you want. Okay, I got these little fingertip towels. They are, they, I, I got two that say believe. There for the bathroom, just wipe your little hands on. Super cute. I'm telling you, their patterns are very cute this year. Okay, this is also non-Christmas related items. Uh, I got two steak knives. 
because my husband and I were vegetarian for 17 years and then we've just within the last year started eating meat again we don't have any steak knives I know these are not going to be very good but until I can find some nice ones um they're good in a pinch and we don't really cook steaks we don't have a grill or anything but I just thought we're going to be getting one so just to have them and then I found, I've been looking for these, and I finally found them. They are bamboo, but they're also silicone. So, they're, I got the spatula, I got the slotted spoon, and I got the other kind of spatula. Slotted spatula, slotted spoon, and regular spatula. What are they calling this? Slotted turner is what they call this one. So, I was very excited. They had a couple of different colors. I think... The only ones they had at mine were orange, and they didn't have all three in orange, so I just chose red. So I guess it would go with all my Christmas decor, too. Those are really cute. Those are a Greenbrier, like, cooking concepts, which is made by Greenbrier. But, I mean, really, like, come on, you guys. A dollar? A doll hair for that? Okay, the, this next thing is very exciting. Flossers. Uh, these are just flossers for my daughter. Okay, these I was pretty jazzed about, and I got three sets. They are wooden letters. Very, very excited about these to do little signs and stuff. Uh, great deal great deal. So I just stocked up. I don't know. They are a crafter square, so they may start just keeping them, but there's only 26 in each one. So if you need, want to spell a word that has you know, two A's in it, you're going to need a couple of packs. <clears throat> I picked up this flower beauty item. I'm actually using right now a small cream blush that I think is really close to the same color, um, but it's in a little container and so I got this this is another cream blush and uh, I enjoy cream blush very much I think it looks very natural because you put it on and then you can if you're gonna powder you powder on top of it and and apply your other items and it looks like an inner glow so that's that BL3 uh, rouge some win some rouge some is the color Okay, my daughter picked these out for us to kind of play. I'm probably going to put them in the car for when we're on trips and stuff. Uh, we are doing a field trip Tuesday to go see a mound builder location. And it's about an hour and 45 minutes away. So we might go through these. These are Brain Buster card games. And they are made by Greenbrier. But these would also make <coughs> excuse me, great stocking stuffers. So this one is Creepy Crawlies. And I think it just asks questions like amphibians hatch from eggs and then move on to land. True or false? This one is ocean life. I think she got all that they had. Geography and nature. So really, really cute, guys. Again. Okay. These are so cute. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use these to give, like, little baked gifts to my neighbors, but I just couldn't pass up getting them. So, here's the, they had several designs. I got two different designs. This one is a red truck, snowman. These have a top that also has a plastic seal, so they seal really well. You could get these, I mean, and, I mean, these would be great just for, for kitchen Storage, I wish that they would make them without any designs on them because they also stack. Look at that. I mean, wouldn't that be great for like your pantry? I don't know why are these are not year round. They should have these in clear plastic, Dollar Tree. Come on. <clears throat> uh, so that's that design. And then I got this other design. And it says, like, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Have a cup of cheer. So cute, you guys. What? I love these. 
I was really excited to get those. Uh, I just got some tape for wrapping presents. I do not care for Dollar Tree's wrapping paper. It is very thin, so I have not gotten any wrapping paper from there. I'm actually probably going to get my wrapping paper from Dollar General. They have really good wrapping paper. A little bit more expensive, but worth it. I got this pizza pan because I've seen a lot of people do DIYs with the pizza pan. So again, not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it, but you can't find these at all of the Dollar Tree locations. So I just went ahead and picked it up. Here is the ribbon that I'm going to trim out the back of that pillow with. Just little snowflakes. I feel like I also got some Dollar Tree Buffalo check like wired ribbon, but it's not in here, so I don't know. Like I said, I'm having a very small Christmas dinner here, um, and we're going to have to get out. We're going to have to take, I have a small table over here. If you guys don't know, so if you haven't seen my other videos, we just bought 3.4 acres and put a cottage on it. So our house is only 880 square feet. We did that on purpose. We downsized and wanted to have a small home that was easy to keep up and didn't have room for all kinds of stuff, okay? And I know you're going, well, what are you talking about? You just are showing me all the stuff that you just bought. Well, I sold and got rid of a lot of my Christmas stuff, and <clears throat> frankly, it was hand-me-downs and stuff that I really didn't love, and so I'm only bringing in things that I really, really love and that I'm making and that are, you know, meaningful. So I needed Christmas decor. Um, that being said, we have a small round table over here that really only seats three people. And so we're going to move that out, put that in our bedroom and bring out a folding table. So I did want to have some kind of, oh, my husband just turned on the water outside. Uh, I did want to have some kind of tablecloth. Uh, so I got, they have the, these flannel backed tablecloths at Dollar Tree. And so I thought this would be cute with the buffalo check on top of it. Um, I mean, these are obviously not the best quality, but they're not plastic. They are like a fabric and they do have the flannel on the back. So if it lasts, I mean, all I'm expecting it to do is last just that one day and look halfway decent. So got that. <clears throat> And then, again, I got this guy, which I'll probably put out on Christmas Day to go with all of our other gnome stuff. I will not use it. It is microfiber, but it is so cute. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a very long video. Again, if you like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see any of these DIYs after I'm done with them, let me know. Um... That is all. I'm going to try to work on the next few days on doing another of these bags need a home. That is not, uh, I did a coach one and I'm going to do just a regular one and then I need to do jewelry and some other things. So I'm going to try to get that done this week, but I can't promise anything, but I will be here with a thrifty Thursday haul on Thursday. So stay tuned for that. If you are not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Please click that notification bell and make sure that you clicked all videos, not just custom, or you will not get notifications that I have posted a video. All right, you guys, I hope everyone is doing well, and I know we're all looking forward to the Christmas holidays, at least I am, and a little bit of uh, joy, you know. But I'm also not skipping fall, I mean, and not skipping Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a real holiday. It can mean whatever you want it to mean. To me, it means getting together with family and being thankful for all the many, many blessings that I have. All right, until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.